So hi, welcome to CloudLop. Uh, I just want to give you an update on the project that I'm currently working on. I'm working on a DJI Tello a 3D uh, graphic user interface. So an interface to send commands, design uh, pads, and basically communicate with the with the drone. Uh, so for this project, I'm using Node.js and, and also uh, for the backend and the front end GS. And, and again, on this video, we will discuss the features of the project and also the status of the project. Again, this, this project is currently on a work in progress status. Uh, so far, there, I work on the project for for eight days. And again, I'm planning to, to release most, more updates, but we will. I, I'm gonna walk you through uh, the current features and, and also where I want to take this project on the next days. So. I I open my Git account. Uh, so if you go to GitHub Markwin app, and if you click on UDP server, Tello Mission Control UDP server, and here let me scroll down to the README file. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of uh, getting the 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 repo, the, the clone the repo, install the the components, start the server, go to this URL to your local host port 3000 forward slash static to open the 3D interface. But here in the bottom, we also see that we can also uh, use commands. So we can post our command list to the server. If we don't want to use the, the UI, uh, if we just want to send commands, we can, yes, we can we can work on that way also. We simply post to the server uh, the commands in this format. So the the address of the drone, the command list, and the commands that we want to, to send to the drone. And again, it supports out of the box multi drones or SRAM. So you can have more than one drone at the same time and, and running commands at the same time. And also, without user interface, you can also get the status of the drone. So uh, for example, if you want to query the, the height, the battery and all that, you can get that uh, using this command again you, you we have a, i have a postman collection so if i click on, on running postman it will open postman uh, for windows in, in my case so uh, let's wait for that let me go back to my git account so features so it's a 3d user interface you can basically it will animate the the path that your drone is that that, that you yeah, so basically if you go up, you will see an animation of the drone going up, go to the left, will go to the left. So that's the intent of this project, just to have a front-end 3D user interface where you can actually see where the drone is going, add more than one drone, and just have a more friendly user interface for, for, having, for controlling your drone. Uh, also, it supports multi-drone, so you can have more than one drone. And again, a standalone server for sending commands and, and again, receiving uh, status from the drone. So here we have the UDP command SDK for uh, SDK 1.3. So the 1.3 is the latest SDK available for the Tello version, so just the regular version. I know that uh, the, the Tello launched a, a new, newer version, uh, Tello Edu, but unfortunately, I, I don't have that version uh, with me. Uh, and also they don't sell that version here in Mexico. So that's that's a handicap right now for me that I'm not able to test the new SDK, SDK 2.0. But anyways, um, here this is the list of commands for 1.3. I also added a couple of notes, sample data and responses. Uh, the stats, so the, the, can, the, the, the object that you can get if you get this, you ask for the stats of the drone, a video and and that's pretty much it so okay and let's so this is the postman okay that's we don't need it right now so let me start the server so i opened npm start okay so it is asking me to go to my local host port 3000 to um basically uh get the to get the front end to get the ui the 3d ui and as you can see it's a it's a 3d interface and for for this i'm using babylon so it's 
and you can navigate using your keyboard and then the left um, mouse key uh, you can add more drones so you can have two drones and you can click in here you can add remove animations or basically commands so and if I hit play here you will see so right now it's it's taking off level it is a command that I created that it, it will take the drone to 110 centimeters wait for four seconds and land the uh, aircraft aircraft the drone so that's basically it um again uh, let me stop this we can add more commands so if i click here go to uh coordinate so go to this coordinate it will go to that uh position it will move to to, to those positions so um again i don't have all the commands all not all the commands are working so not all the animations are working the commands are working because you can actually send all those commands and it will work the the drone will uh, move to that location but again i don't have all the animations of working so let me just click here to to delete that uh, let me just get closer so you can have a, a better view so uh, again everything's in 3d uh let me stop this so let's start so let's um let, let me just turn on my end and then my my drone just to have a small demo and again again you can send it to your your commands using the the by simply posting those commands to the server i'm going to show you a demo in a second so okay so the drone is on let me connect hello connect Okay, connect. I'm gonna put this on the ground. So it will, so it, let's recap. It will send the command, take off, go to 110 centimeters, or actually, yes. So let's remove this, just wait for four seconds in the air and then land the aircraft. So let's send those commands to the drone. One, two, three, four. So it landed. So it worked wonderful, wonderfully. So if I go to Postman, uh, to the list of commands that I have here. So here I have get drone status. So it's a simple post to the local host port 3000. And here in the body, I'm and I'm just passing a, a drone, and with the IP address. So if I click send, I should receive the, the status of the drone. So as you can see, okay, the drone is uh, it's uh, barometer, time of flight, uh, uh, temperature is 57 degrees. So if let me let me just uh, grab it here. Let's resend the same command. So yes, the pitch roll and Joe are working, you know, so and the yeah, so everything's working, so this thing is working. So let me just place the drone again in the ground. I'm gonna show you that you can also uh without the graphic user inter user interface you can also send commands. So this is uh this basically we're repeating the same. This is the same trick. So we're enabling command taking off. And uh, and waiting for waiting four seconds on the on the air, then landing the the aircraft. Okay, so let me save this second and well, right. Let me just fix this. This is a small error. Okay. Let me send that. So as you can see, the the, the server responded with the same list of comments. So it's on the air, waiting four seconds. And landed. So again it's very useful. So you have all the all that all those utilities. So and you can send uh 
commands to one drone or multiple drones and this is the, the, the one sample uh, and again I'm planning to add more features on the front end I, I can add the status on, on the right here and fix the animations that are not working so then the animations are it's a it's a work in progress uh, stuff so I haven't completed everything yet uh, but again I'm planning to 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 work on it um, I hope you like it and, and again keep in touch for for more updates or and on this project you can always visit my my git account uh, also uh, follow me on Twitter or YouTube and again thanks thank you thanks for watching and have a wonderful day